Yeah, you're right. It's an empty spot. My little anterium, which was living in a glass pot, which I was very happy about because it was producing a new leaf, has been kidnapped by my two boys. Yeah, they were thinking it was funny to kidnap the plant at least four times before they decided to eat the new produced leaf. Where are you, Max? There you are, you anterium kidnapper. Here, there you are. And I told them not to eat it because I don't know if anteriums are really healthy to be eaten. <laughs> They're crazy blokes. Mick, mick. So that's the end of the anterium. But what I use the glass for, for is my jewel orchid. Yeah, why not put my jewel orchids together? Yeah, I think they will be happy there. And in the pot underneath there, I'm growing moss. Let's see if that works out. But yeah, the end of the Ontarium. A bit of a shame, but it was funny to see uh, see them kidnap my plant. It was really funny. You can't get mad about rats who try to kidnap plants. Well, this is the last flower. Let's see. Uh, and these two are going to fall. They're browning already. Uh, yeah, that's the only one that's looking good. Oh, it's been in blue for at least two months, so time to cut the spike. is new. Not much. I changed some things outside. Put my mimosa pitica over here. And yeah, the new growth of my Sandidian is pushing on. to bring my orchid feed of yesterday outside but it was so dull and cloudy I'm happy the sun comes coming through but um, yeah I got to change this bunch those four plants I think I'm gonna put them all in one pot but I have not yet decided what pot so yeah. I make my upside down flower a normal flower. I just turn and twist it. Of course, very carefully. It's rather lovely. 